Okay, so I got a tips uh, for how to change CV axles on Dodge Ram half tons. They are unpleasant. The reason why they're unpleasant is where this splines into, uh, it splines into a little stub shaft that goes into the, the front differential. Um, those splines are outside of the differential. So right here, this, this portion right here is exposed to the outside it's exposed to water, it's exposed to, uh, you know, the air, changing temperatures. It's not inside the differential. It's not in a nice, safe, fluid-soaked environment. So it rusts and it seizes right onto that stub shaft. If you try and hit this off, you'll take the stub shaft with it. Not really the end of the world because that's just a clip. Uh, it can go back in, but you still have to separate the two. Uh, so what do you do? Some guys, what they do is they'll cut the axle uh, in, in half or you know just separate the joint just take an air hammer or something knock this guy off then you can pull that off you also want to knock this inner ring off too so that way you can get this kind of out of the way you can pull the two pieces apart because you'll need to be able to in order to get this part out uh, it's kind of tight in the in the knuckle so you just want to kind of get this piece out of the way and then you still got the inner joint seized onto that stub shaft to deal with. Some guys, I've seen them just torch it off. I'm not a big fan of that. You're putting so much heat into the differential. Some guys just pound the whole unit out, put it on the ground, then torch it off, try and salvage the stub shaft or just get another one from a wrecker. It's not fun. Uh, there is a trick to these. So there's only really a Dodge issue. If you look at, say, front wheel drive cars, say like this one, and if we look in here, those splines go all the way into the final drive unit of the transaxle. So they're bathed in fluid all the time. They don't rust out. And then for other trucks, such as Chevys and Fords, they don't have that issue either because if you look up here, it's a bolt-on flange. It's actually quite really nice. But these guys don't have that. So how do you get these off? Well, there's a really, really easy way. Get this out of the way, however you want to do it. Um, a lot of times what I'll do just to give access because it is really, really tight in the knuckle. Um, I'll show you a picture. I pull the hub out of the way. You just get some bolts in behind there, get some garbage bolts in there, give it a tap, 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 you know, undo the upper ball joint, give the bolts a tap to get the, the, the hub out of the way so you can reuse it. That way you got the big surface, uh, the big hub opening in the knuckle, it, just to help you deal with getting this out. Because even, even still, you know, trying to get this all the way out of the splines of the hub, it's difficult, it's tight. And you know what, you could undo the bottom ball joint too, but then you're fighting the whole knuckle. I'd rather not. It's kind of heavy and it's awkward. So uh, that's all I'll do is I'll, I'll get the hub out of the way. It comes out really easy. Um, I'll separate these two, pull this off. Then I can just throw this out because we don't care about that. Ugh, gross. Ugh. It's quite bad off. So... I've cleaned the inside of this out. You can see there's a hole there. I don't know how well you can see that. But that is not solid. If you get a new um, axle, I think we got some over here. Uh, not axles, but um, hmm. Well, I uh, thought we had some but it appears I could be mistaken dang it we totally did where were they hmm well I don't know um, anyways it looks much like uh, a frost plug uh, a freeze plug like you'd find on an engine it's just a thin piece of um, tin, aluminum, not aluminum, but you know, tin, and it breaks easily. 
so you can clean out the mess of uh, grease if you want but you know what it's gonna be messy no matter what all I do come over here it helps if you have a big air hammer say one of these 498s but I just put a, a flat um, punch bit like that on there then I can put my air hammer in there so this will be kind of into the vehicle sort of like that and then with one hand on the air hammer uh, I can be putting it right against there I can hit that until it goes all the way through and then it starts tapping on the stub shaft behind and at the same time I grab this with my other hand and I'm pulling don't even need to pull that hard but you just put steady pressure and this sucker no matter how rusty that is it'll pop off now if you don't have one of the big 498 air hammers want to say one of the Astro pneumatics or the Chicago pneumatics and say you just have a little snap-on guy uh, it should still go through that but if you want you can clean everything out you can get a punch down there just a regular punch you can pull that right out I did that the first time figuring that this should work uh, and then you can uh, use your air hammer directly on it if you have a, a powerful air hammer that's the easiest way to do it Otherwise, if you do it manually with a hammer and a chisel, you might need a second person to put a little bit of forward pressure on this. But yeah, they do come out. And let me tell you, this particular one, she was nasty. Uh, that's cleaned off quite a bit. I had a huge pile of rust on my hand when I was done with that. But anyways, I've seen people fight with these for hours. And if you just punch that out and hit on that stub shaft while you're pulling this forward, it comes out quite easily. Anyways, uh, hopefully this helps someone out. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.